G'day guys, welcome to my Rx Wise Future video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about NRL Round 17 predictions for 2021. Guys, so let's get started. So starting off with this first game of this match, we see the Seagulls going up against the Raiders now. In this game, um, this match is going to be real tight. I do believe there's no uh, Tom Trevojevic and Daly Cherry Evans due to Tom Trevojevic going to the New South Wales Blues and Daly Cherry Evans going to the Queensland Maroons. Uh, since that, uh, Ruben Garrick will be number one and Dylan Walker will be number seven. Which that means uh, for the Raiders, Xavier Savage will make his NRL debut. Congratulations on him. Uh, no Bailey Simonson. Um, obviously no Josh Papali. Uh, who else? Yeah, I can't really remember, but it was a bigger list. And I do expect the Manly Seagulls in this game to make a really good game. And they are a really good team, but since no Tom Trevojevic and no Daly Cherry Evans, this game's going to be tight. But the sports bet is going to be real big because the Raiders are on four dollars fifty, and um, the Manly Seagulls are on dollar twenty five. But since that, I do believe that the Manly Seagulls are a really good team. But it's gonna really be a big tight game of football, and what do I expect? I expect this game to be a very a big match, but since this game will be very tight, I do believe, and I reckon it will be a close score line um, in this game. I reckon 24-18 sees the Manly Seagulls beating the Raiders in this game. And I just reckon that Ruben Garrick will have a really good game, so will Jason Saab. Dylan Walker, I reckon he will have a great game, but yeah, what to expect, but yeah, 24 to 18, I do predict that against the Raiders. The next game of that match, we see the Rabbitohs going up against the Cowboys now. In this game, as I mentioned before about the Cowboys, they are on $5.50, and since they aren't a good team at the moment, I just think in this game will be a very average game. But since there won't be any, no, since the Rabbitohs have no Latrell Mitchell, uh, no um, Dane Gagai, no Jai Arrow, no Cameron Murray, no Damian Cook, all of them will be going to the Origin, um, will be playing for Origin anyway. So this game will be very, very tight and obviously the Cowboys, I do expect this game to be your game because the Cowboys, since last week, they didn't score any tries. I didn't think that if the Rabbitohs were going to win, I just reckon the Cowboys, I reckon you guys will have a really good game. And the Rabbitohs, I reckon they'll struggle, but only just, I reckon they'll win by a couple of points. In this game, though, since no Latrell Mitchell, which sees Blake Taff um, going into that number one squad, I do believe he is making his NRL debut or he did play for this team. I'm not too sure about that one. Um, if you guys want to comment down below um, what if he's like in, in his NRL debut or has he played still for uh, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. But anyway, uh, the Cowboys are on $5.50 and the Rabbitohs are on $1.15. But I reckon though, this game will be a big thread, but I'm going to go with the South Sydney Rabbitohs in this one. I'm going to go with them by eight points in this game. And I do see the Cowboys gonna be a bit struggling by them, but I reckon Rabbitohs by eight points. The next game of that match, we see the Bulldogs going up against the Roosters. Now, in this game, the Roosters, since there's no uh, James Tedesco, obviously he will be on New South Wales Blues list for fullback, um, which that means Joseph Manu will be replacing him on the number one jersey, uh, which that means, obviously, 
Um, I do expect the Roosters, though, to have a big game because, obviously, the Bulldogs, as I mentioned about the other video, they are a terrible team, and I give up on them. Because every single time I see you guys play, you guys don't make an effort at all. You do win a couple of times, but that's not good enough for me. But I just have a gut feeling in this game that the Bulldogs aren't going to win at all. I reckon they will score a couple of tries, yes. But since they are on $7 on Sportsbet and obviously $1.10 for the Roosters, I just reckon this will be a very embarrassing win by the Roosters to beat the Bulldogs. And this game, I do expect that in this match, it will be a very a big, big scoreline. But for my scoreline in, in this game, what I do predict is 56 points to 12. I just reckon that they will get a big high scoreline, but since the Roosters are a really good team, but they are struggling a little bit, but since they are versing the Bulldogs, they need to be on top of their form. The Bulldogs aren't, because at the moment, every single time I see the Bulldogs play, they are just shocking. But anyway, I'm gonna go with the Bulldog, um, the Roosters, uh, the Roosters, sorry. I'm going to go with the Roosters in this one, and I am predicting the scoreline to be 56 points to 12 for the Roosters to beat the Bulldogs. And finally, the next game of this match, we see the Sharks going up against the Warriors. Now, in this game, since the Sharks are on $1.60 and the Warriors are on $2.35, there is no Tohu Harris and no Chad Townsend. Which that means, uh, I think it will be Sean Sullivan, Sean O'Sullivan, seven, and Cody Nicarima on six. And then obviously you've got Reese Walsh on number one, and then Roger Tuafasa Sheff number five. But then in this game, uh, since Sione Katoa is gonna return in this match, I do expect the Sharks to have a really good game. Because they are a really good team, but since they lost by a couple of points against the Broncos last week, I reckon that they will win. But I just have a gut feeling in this game that the Warriors will struggle, definitely. I have a gut feeling they will, because without no Chad Townsend, I just have a gut feeling that the Warriors will just fall apart and obviously won't play well. But in this game, what I do expect is the Warriors to be a very accurate team to really work hard in this game. But the Sharks, I reckon they will smash the Warriors by only a couple of points. And what I do expect is the Sharks to have a really good game um, in this match. But I think there's no Will Chambers uh, due to an unborn baby, I believe. I heard a little bit of rumour about that. Um, I'm not too sure about that. If he is playing or not, uh, comment down below if you want to know if he is playing or not. But I just have a gut feeling in this game that it will be a very tight game. But I'm going to go with, with the Sharks in this one. And I'm going to say by eight points in this game to beat the Warriors in this match. Thanks so much for watching my video guys, stay tuned for more, we'll be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon, also doing more videos coming to you guys soon, so stay tuned for more, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video, till then, take care guys, stay safe, and have a good one, plus let's get up to 300 subscribers, we're seeing on 215 anyway, so let's get up to that, and I'll see you guys next time, take care.